Hi, uh, good morning. Uh, today we will be learning about uh, the working of uh, drum uh, type breaks uh, with the help of the animation. So, uh, we have a drum uh, type break over here. So, let's identify uh, uh, each uh, component. So, uh, the green color which is marked over here is the uh, toe of the uh, shoe. And uh, here, in the top it is the toe of the shoe and bottom it is the heel of shoe and that's the brake shoe and uh, the red colored mark on the both sides uh, are the brake linings and uh, in the center we have the back plate uh, this uh, blue colored uh, is the adjuster uh, and uh, this is the anchor which is connected over here and uh, the brake drum, the exterior portion uh, is the uh, brake drum and uh, on the center we have uh, the retractor uh, spring uh, which keeps uh, this particular uh, uh, shoe away uh, from the uh, brake shoe away from the linings. So let's see how actually uh, it works. Uh, in this uh, type of brakes like this a, a brake drum is attached uh, concentric uh, to the axle hub whereas uh, on the axle casing uh, is mounted uh, a back plate uh, as you can see um, in case of the front axle uh, the black uh, the back plate is uh, bolted uh, to the steering and knuckle uh, the back plate is uh, made of uh, pressed uh, steel sheet and is ribbed uh, to increase uh, rigidity and to provide uh, support uh, for the expander anchor and the brake shoe uh, it also protects uh, the drum and shoe assembly uh, from uh, mud and also dust. Uh, moreover, it absorbs the complete uh, torque uh, reaction of the shoe uh, due to uh, which reason it is uh, sometimes also called as a torque plate. Uh, two uh, brake shoes are uh, anchored uh, to the back plate uh, as you can see uh, in the figure uh, the friction uh, linings are mounted on the brake shoe one or two retractor springs are used uh, which serves to keep the brake shoe uh, away from uh, the drum actually uh, when uh, the brakes are not applied so this is a spring that does that uh, the brake shoes are anchored at one end whereas on the other end uh, the force uh, F is applied uh, by means of some uh, brake actuating mechanism so that uh, we can apply uh, the brake. So that's actually how uh, a uh, drum uh, type brake is actually working. So when these uh, uh, green colored uh, shoe uh, get engaged uh, with this particular red colored uh, brake linings uh, uh, when this force is applied while we are uh, pressing the brake pedal resulting in the braking and after when we release the brake uh, pedal what happens is that these uh, retractor springs uh, takes back uh, both these shoes away uh, from the lining which releases uh, the brake so that's how a, a drum brake is actually working and uh, I think you got an idea about its working for more uh, engineering related uh, tutorial videos you can visit my blog or my youtube channel uh, for a video tutorial or we are also available in facebook uh, thanks for uh, watching this video